for the last month and a half, I've been working on my every Ewok and Return of the Jedi videos and uh, pulling all those Ewoks out for some of those shots that I made inspired me to redo my entire Endor diorama setup. And uh, so I'm starting a new series that I'm calling Rebuilding Endor. And part one of that series starts today on... Go Skill Customs! So for part one, I'm making the custom figure nobody wanted and nobody asked for. Uh, however, you know, once I was done with it, I was actually pretty impressed. Uh, and that is, of course, Han Endor. He's been made in the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. He's been made in the 3.75 Black Series. And he's been made now in the Vintage Collection. But at none of those points did they think to maybe give him open hands so he can do the whole holding his hands in the air sort of thing. And so uh, I took the hands off of a Black Series 3.75 Dagobah Luke Skywalker because he comes with two pairs of hands. So I took the ones that are open, which I are designed for him to do the handstand, popped off Han Solo's hands and just swapped them out. Now these hands, the, the little peg that goes in the arm is a little bit smaller than the Han Solo peg, so I had to stick a little bit of hot glue in there. I have painted the belt because uh, he has a belt on his pants and then he's got a belt for his holster. And the belt on his pants is supposed to be black and they didn't do that. So I painted that black. I painted some weathering on the holster so it looks more like it's leather and not like a big hunk of plastic. I also painted a lot of the details. They've, they've painted these details on previous Han Endor figures, but for whatever reason, they didn't paint them on this one. So I painted some of those little silver details on there. I did a wash of gray on his shirt just to make that a little bit more accurate to the movie. That little uh, darker color, not so pure white. I also uh, took the, the yellow stripes on the Black Series one, which is what I'm, I'm using for this figure. The yellow stripe on his, on his pants is just a solid stripe of yellow. What I did was I painted right over top of that with brown and then wiped it off because it sculpted in all these little ridges. And so when I wiped it off, it just left a little bit of brown paint in those ridges. Finally, I topped them off by doing a little bit of dirt and grime on his boots. And that's how I made the action figure custom that nobody asked for. Now, be sure to like and subscribe so that when I make my follow-up video to this one all about repainting this bunker I have behind me, You'll know when it comes out and be able to watch that too. So stay tuned for part two of Rebuilding Endor.